Here in magical Monaco for this afternoon's qualifying session, which will be getting underway shortly. Hello YouTube, my name is PixelGuy and we are having a pixel perfect day today. I know it's been a long time since I uploaded the last episode of F1 2016 season from Russia. My apologies for that. But this time it must be amazing because we are heading to Monaco, which is a pretty amazing place. I always enjoyed racing there when I was playing on PC, but it's a bit different story on mobile. Because uh, you have to steer the device itself and you see pretty much nothing when driving in Monaco, so it's like driving blindfolded. So you have to drive from your memory, remember the track, and it's so much harder. Let's see what we can get here. Honestly, my driving won't be really clear this time, but I'm trying to do my best and try not to collide. So as you can see we are breezing through this qualifying session even with the bad driving because it's it, it can be sad that it's good but it's okay and I'm much faster than the other guys so two seconds what <laughs> even three seconds what so it's it's just quite a big difference Mostly it is because the game is not really well optimized. Uh, there are some tracks where you can drive off the car absolutely and be not really competitive. And there are tracks like this where you can do anything and, and still win. For example, Australia, Melbourne is the same. You are faster than the other guys with 2 or 3 seconds per lap. It's, it's just unbelievable. So as you can see we have won the qualifying and I'm really happy about that because if you are racing a mobile in Monaco and you are not starting from pole position, it's just not Formula 1, it's ping pong, <laughs> like Sebastian Vettel said. I'm really hoping that the race can be as good as the qualifying. Real driver skill as well as concentration. Last night the Monte Carlo streets were full of revelers, today they're cleared and ready for racing. Okay, so let's set out the race. Um, car setup is here. It's okay. Hold position. Let's go for the win. So the hardest thing here is the hairpin. It's really frustrating because you can't really turn in with normal speed and other cars can't too. But the chicane is good. Not that good, but okay. And yeah, it's pretty much a clean lap, so... I'm hoping that nothing really happens in this race, because if 
something happens, then it's big trouble. Uh, AI is pretty bad at managing collision situations and other stuff like that, so they are just piling up on the road and, and, and don't know what to do. If you spin, <laughs> that's the end. You, you can't really move forward. So there is a bit of space between me and the other guys, but ooh, close, but not that much. It's a bit tricky because I set up the car to be better in cornering situations and we're seeing straight line speed because, well, here it is Monaco, so that's what's logical. But the other guys seem to be a bit faster in straights and uh, it makes the first corner a bit hard to take because after the first corner at these straights they are just coming at me and that is the place where I have to really defend my position. Other places just seem to be fine. You've just put in the fastest lap.
As I was hoping for earlier, uh, nothing really much happened in the race, apart from the contact at the last lap, which was interesting because the uh, damage model is not that great in this game and now I'm happy. Now I'm happy that it's not good. This was it for the Monaco Grand Prix, I hope you enjoyed this episode, if you did then press that like button and if you want to see more episodes of this season then definitely subscribe. If you want to know more about what happened in the previous videos or previous episodes of this season then go and check out my other videos, I will leave links here in the end screen so that you can check it out easily. Thank you guys for watching, see you in my next video, bye. Thank you.